In this episode, we're going to take a look at the solution to assignment number four. In this assignment, you had to create a, a rider factory um, class and a stop class. Uh, essentially, these, um, these implementations or these classes uh, were uh, used to implement or used to generate uh, rider objects uh, for a particular stop on a route. So let's first start by looking at the Rider Factory class, uh, which I have here. You were to implement three different methods. Uh, they, the three different methods corresponded to um, a, an implementation with, uh, with two parameters. This one uh, is, the first parameter is the route, the second parameter is the stop. Uh, let's take a look at the .h for this. Um, for RiderFactory.h. Uh, it explains uh, each of these. So, uh, the rider object, um, this uh, sorry, generate rider for uh, the rider factory with the two parameters generates a uh, a rider for a given route and a given origin. So this is the place that the uh, that the rider starts at um, on a given route. The um, the method is then supposed to generate or randomly generate the destination. Uh, the other two <coughs> uh, methods that are here, there's the no parameter version. This is to randomly generate the route, randomly generate the origin, and randomly generate the destination. And then the third one is given the route, so randomly generate both the origin and the destination. So let's take a look at the um, uh, the each of these methods in turn. I want to look first at generate rider for uh, the route with um, a given stop, and then randomly generating the destination. So um, the beginning of this method starts off with what we've seen before with uh, automatically, or sorry, with uh, generating the timestamp um, based on the seconds. Um, this time info is, of course, always used to sort of print the data. Uh, I think I included it here because when I was testing, uh, I was actually printing out um, the time in this uh, particular, uh, within this method, but this is actually not needed. We only really need the first three statements. Okay, so um, the route info class is something that was given to you. Um, this is a class that implements uh, the following functions, the get stop info, and uh, there's the, uh, uh, well, the route info is the, the actual, um, the route info is the constructor. There was actually one other method that was provided to you in your s solution, which doesn't impact anything, actually, because it's used to print out the, uh, uh, print out the route, um, the, the name of the route. Um, but in this particular version of route info, which I'm showing here, uh, we only have the, uh, the one that you actually really need, which is the get stop info, which returns an array containing the number of stops for each route. If we look at the actual implementation of this, uh, you'll see here that uh, the um, get stop info just uh, returns this array. And this array is an integer array that has uh, the number of stops for each one of the different routes. So orange stops, so, so stop in for our orange is equal to orange stops. If you look at the, um, the part that's here, um, you see orange stops is 16. Now, I believe the version that uh, you are working with um, has, uh, uh, has one array that contains uh, the names of the stops. It turns out that in your implementation, you weren't actually using that, so the only thing you really needed is this, uh, this stop info piece. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here then. What happens is that uh, the route info uh, class is instantiated, and then this, uh, this integer array uh, is uh, instantiated with, uh, by making a call to get stop info. This thing returns an array. Remember that pointers to, um, to types um, can also be arrays, and these pointers would point to the first element in the array. 
Um, so the, um, the next piece of the method is just basically setting the origin equal to whatever the stop is that was passed in. The destination is set to uh, the random number um, based on the stop info for the particular route that's inputted. This will return the number of stops um, for a given route. Uh, and then there's this little check here that if the origin and the destination end up being the same, I just add one to the, uh, to the destination. Uh, now this, uh, this next piece, um, this is actual, the actual generation of the writer. Uh, we're using a pointer. And the reason that we're using a pointer here is that we want to be able to make sure that the, um, that the writer um, stays in memory, that it isn't, doesn't get deleted. And if, if we uh, weren't to do it this way uh, and de declared it as a local variable, then the scope of this object would be tenuous. So it, it might or might not exist for, for very long. And so, uh, uh, and technically what's supposed to happen is that uh, it's supposed to go out of scope as soon as this method is, and so this is why we're using a pointer, we're allocating the object from the heap, um, and then um, setting this pointer um, to this. Um, and then um, we are doing a little bit of cleanup here, deleting route info because we don't need that object anymore, and then returning R. Now the other methods uh, within um, this class are very similar. So here is the version for just the route. We're randomly generating the origin and the destination in that version. Um, again, same kind of stuff here. We don't really need to have uh, this time info piece, but everything else is necessary. Uh, and same thing. So we're allocating the object, deleting this route info, and then returning the object. And then finally, the, um, the last version is the uh, using the, the random numbers for route, origin, and destination. Everything else is pretty much the same. Okay, so that is the, um, that's the writer factory. Now the idea of the writer factory, again, is that it is a class that's used to generate these, um, these random, or sorry, generate these writers. And so with the stop class, uh, what we're doing is uh, we're asking the writer factory to generate some number of, of, of these writer objects for us. And I'm using the, this num writers, which comes from stop.h, as the value of the number of writers we're actually going to generate. Um, and it's uh, simply uh, instantiating the writer factory, uh, making sure that we instantiate the writers array. Uh, it is a an, int, a, an array of integers. Um, now, we implemented this as an array of integers um, because I wanted to make the point that uh, that pointers are, are integers. Pointers point to an address. The pointers store an address, and addresses um, in 32-bit 30 systems um, are integers. And so we can store these pointers um, uh, to these writers in an integer array. We just need to make sure that we cast it to an integer. So uh, in the loop, we create a loop here um, that will go uh, for the number of writers. Uh, we instantiate um, each one of these objects uh, using the uh, generate writer method. Here, since we have these two parameters, so the route and the stop, um, we're assuming then that the writer that we're generate, generating will start at this particular bus stop on this route. Um, so we'll get that into a pointer, and then cast that pointer um, so that we can store it in the integer array. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the rest of this is uh, we, need to, um, uh, we need to print it. So we just go through the loop, print the, the object, make sure, making sure that we cast the, uh, the, the item in the array to a writer pointer. Uh, and then, uh, as far as deleting, uh, we do need to make sure that we go through every single uh, item in the array and delete that. Actually, there's one more piece here that, um, that I'm missing in the solution. We actually also need to delete the writer's array. Okay, so that is, uh, that's the implementation. Those are the two methods, or, sorry, the two classes that you were to implement. Um, again, I, I think that... Uh, uh, the, the main thing to sort of wrap your mind around is uh, the idea of how the pointers work. Um, 
here, this this particular methods, this these methods illustrate the fact that we do need to, uh, if we have these objects that we're going to be storing external to a class, we do need to declare them as pointers so that they're allocated from the heap. We return those and then store them uh, within another class. This class collects them all into an array um, that. Uh, uh, array of pointers for each one of those um, those different writer objects. Okay, so uh, we can actually see this in operation. I'm going to go ahead and compile and run. And so here is the list of the 15 riders that are riding the bus. So starting at uh, this is Route 5. Um, starting at stop 5, exiting at stop 10, starting at 5, exiting at stop 7. You'll notice that the time boarding and the disembark time are all the same, and the reason is that there's no bus for them to get onto, so uh, I initialize the, uh, the, t the time boarding and the disembark time within the rider class to zero, uh, but we're also printing it out as a, as a time, and an internet time zero, um, is uh, is equal to this date in 1969, December 31st, 1969. So, anyway, that's uh, that's the uh, that's the solution for assignment number four.